Bill Gates and Barack Obama released a docuseries on Netflix called Pandemic in January, right before the Wuhan virus was quote unquote discovered. The docuseries pushed the need for the Gates Foundation to receive funding to carry on virus research to prevent the next pandemic. Bill Gates funded the Wuhan lab in China that released the Wuhan virus. Bill Gates was a member of China's Academy of Sciences who built the lab and he was awarded their highest honor. The Wuhan virus was originally developed at the University of North Carolina by NIH grants approved by the Obama administration in 2012. The NIH defunded the UNC research in 2016. So the communist Chinese scientists left UNC and took their work to the newly built Wuhan lab in 2017, funded by Gates and his friends. The head of the Harvard chemistry department with ties to Gates and Epstein, was arrested for accepting bribes from the communists. Did Epstein know what was coming? The Perbright Institute, funded by Bill Gates, owns the patent on the coronavirus genetic sequencing. They did simulation testing on a global pandemic in 2018. Bill Gates and Barack Obama docuseries marketed the need for a global, quote-unquote, universal vaccine to replace all other flu vaccines. I believe it will be designed to deliver a human chip via nanotechnology. 12,469 people in the U.S. died of H1N1 flu, supposedly from Mexico under Obama, in 2009. Many of them children, because he waited six months to do anything and never closed the border. The media said nothing about fatalities from H1N1, but is creating huge panic around the United States via the mainstream media from the Wuhan virus to destroy the U.S. economy before the election, and perhaps recur to mail-in ballots. Over 60,000 people in the United States have died from the common flu this year, and the media says nothing about that, but is creating an enormous amount of panic from the coronavirus. It's interesting to note that the first cluster of deaths occurred in Kirkland, Washington, the home area of Bill Gates. This death occurred at a nursing home. Half the staff at that nursing home were infected by the Wuhan virus. They appear to be the carriers. The nursing home draws employees from a large Chinese population across the border in Canada. I believe Gates is placing carriers in vulnerable locations for the narrative and funding. Right after the first deaths were reported in Bill Gates' home area, the governor declared a national emergency and Congress approved over $8 billion even though Trump asked for only a quarter of that. Much of the funding will flow to Gates Global Partners. Suddenly, Bill Gates says his quote-unquote foundation will offer in-home testing kits where you swab your nose with a Q-tip and send it to his labs. How convenient. <laughs>